Here are some examples on how to derive expressions for the electric field around point charges. The first example wants you to find the electric field along a line midway between two equal positive charges. Unlike force problems, where we just want the force on a charge at a single point, this is quite common in electric field problems to derive a general solution instead. As always, we start by reading the problem. We look for clues on the charges, distances, and geometry. We take note of what is being asked for. We redraw the diagram to indicate the generic position where we want the electric field. We set up a coordinate system at the midpoint between the charges. We draw in the electric field vectors due to each charge. We derive the expressions for the radial distance from each charge. We also take note of the symmetry of the setup. We derive expressions for the magnitudes of the electric fields by each charge. Before we add the fields together, we need to look back at our diagram and consider components. We draw in the components along the reference axis. We use trigonometry to derive the angle and for components, the sine of the angle. Because of the symmetry of the situation, we already know we do not need to consider the x components because they will cancel out. Whereas in the y direction, we just double up the value from the component of electric field 1. We add up the components, insert the expressions, and simplify. At this point, it is good practice to interpret the solution. Notice first that if we want to find the electric field exactly between the two positive charges, it came out as zero as expected. In the very far field, where y is much greater than d, the expression simplifies to the field of a point charge of magnitude 2q. For our second example, 
we will now calculate the electric field along the line midway between two charges that are opposite. Start by reading the problem. Again, we start with the generic setup. We set up our coordinate system. We draw in the electric field by each charge. We once again note the symmetry of the situation. We derive expressions for the magnitudes of the electric fields at that point. Before adding, we need to break each field into components. Because of symmetry considerations, this time we do not need to calculate the y components as they will cancel out. Substitute in for known geometry. Add the components and simplify. Now interpret. Notice that unlike the first example, this time the electric field is not zero anywhere. However, also notice that its strength decreases much more rapidly with Y. In our final example, we are given two unequal charges and are asked to find where the electric field around them is zero. Start by reading the problem and notating what is being asked for. We set up the generic picture of where we want to find the electric field. When setting up the coordinate system, we realize that the Y component can be ignored due to the symmetry, but the X component is not symmetrical. The charges are different and the distances are different. We set up expressions for the magnitudes of the electric fields. We substitute in for the distances. We get an expression for the total electric field.
Note that in its generic form, this cannot be simplified further without knowing the distance d or the two charges. In this problem, however, we are also asked at what point can this field be zero? We declare that our expression equals zero. We cross multiply foil collect the terms simplify and now we have a quadratic equation plugging into the quadratic formula here is the solutions because big Q is greater than little Q Let's clean this up slightly. As mentioned, this is difficult to simplify without knowledge of the two charges and the distance. However, you can check that if the big charge is much, much greater than the little charge, then x approaches d over 2, i.e., the greater the charge difference, the closer you need to get to the smaller charge for the electric field to become zero. It is also important to consider alternate solutions to this problem. Because the electric field will only be zero at a point if the charges are not equal. 